Hey Cancerians, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Happy Cancer Tarot channel. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. Let's hop into your energy cancers. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. I feel a heavy resistance coming in for, from you guys. There's like a heavy resistance, like really like um, not budging, standing your ground. Tell me about cancers. We got the Knight of Swords coming in and the Two of Cups. So I'm seeing here, there's a relationship. I don't know what type of relationship it is. Um, I'm assuming romance, but it's of significance to you. Th something happened. Whatever it is that happened, it broke the two of you up. And I feel like you are being reactive and I'm not saying this in a bad or good way. I'm just telling you the energy that's coming in. I just feel like you something happened and you were quick. I feel like you were quick to cut this off. You were quick to move on. You saw it or you heard something or you saw something or you experienced something. And right away, you were like, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm leaving this behind. But the thing about it is, I feel like you are out of here while the other person wants to come back into your life, Cancers. I want to know more about what was going on with you. Because this is a broken relationship. Yeah, see, even here's the Knight of Wands. See, for me, you're taking off. And here is someone chasing you. And this is someone you were in a relationship with. Rather, it was friendship, work relationship, um, family. You took off because of something that happened. But you were quick to do it, though. Let's get some more insight around cancers. The devil card is coming in. So we got Capricorn energy. Something you found out. The ace of swords. Something became clear to you. Maybe someone could have been having an affair. Um, someone could have been cheating. Maybe you found out someone was still messing with their ex. The thing about this is, it's the um, devil card in reverse. And I'm seeing you being quick to take off. So it looks like, hmm, what did you find out? Look, here's the two of cups upright. So you got the two of cups in reverse and then the two of cups upright. Hmm. And I'm seeing here a missed opportunity. We got the King of Swords coming in and the Death card. Okay, I feel like you found out that someone was trying to heal a toxic relationship. Like you, you could have found out someone you were dealing with. Because the Ace of Swords, this is coming around what you found out. You could have found out someone was trying to uh, maybe get back with someone that was toxic. And when you found that out, that was it for you. Or, or that's something that happened and you're finding out about. It. Like someone could have uh, missed their chance with you and they got back with their ex. Some, somewhere like that, you found out about it and you're like, I'm done. Or they could have told you it was over with with their ex only for you to find out that they were still dealing with this ex. Let's get some, um, I want to get some more insight around this for you. Tell me more about this for cancers, the situation. We got escaping the ego. Definitely escaping with that knight of swords. So we know you took off. Like, nope. Once you found out about this. It was a no for you. See, a breakup in reverse. See, it's a breakup. See, someone had broke up with someone only to reverse it. That's why the devil is in reverse. It was a, They were in a toxic relationship only for them to get back into that relationship. And when you found out that they were still dealing with that person, like I said, you took off. We have here Divine Masculine. And whoever they are, they're relocating too. Can you see this? Yeah. Alright, so whoever this person is, 
They are relocating. This divine masculine is relocating. So now keep in mind, this is something that could have already happened. And this is just a situation like you and this person are in separation. And this is because you found out they were trying to work things out with the ex. Or some of you, you could have found out they were relocating with the ex. They were moving with an ex. Because right here, this is making me feel like it's over with for some of you. And I think I saw the death card. Yeah, see the death card. There's the death card right here. So this is over with for you. Hmm. That's interesting. So you had this two of cups, but you guys broke up. Two of cups right here. You found out that they were in a relationship with someone that was toxic. They fixed it. And then what else we got here? Intimacy. Then we got divine feminine. Let's see. Okay. So you see how this is looking. We got divine masculine and then divine feminine. And then we got here intimacy. Then we got here protection. And look, betrayal. Prevent it from harm. Divine intervention. And then this betrayal. See, what, what's going on with you and this person? Because we got two two of cups here on the board. A relationship, a broken relationship. And wanting to come back. But we got over here a relationship that was trying to be fixed that was toxic. And you finding out about it. Now, I want to know right here we got divine masculine and intimacy. I hope, let me make sure you guys can see what I'm looking at. Okay, so you got divine masculine, you got intimacy. We got relocation and protection. Divine feminine, and I look at how I lay my cards out. Divine feminine, then we got betrayal. And we saw that you taken off because you may have felt betrayed by what this divine masculine was doing. So who is this divine masculine? Where's this intimacy coming from with this divine masculine? That's that's what you want to know, right? Let's see. Where is this intimacy? We got divine masculine and attached to that is intimacy. What is that about? The chariot. That's that's cancer. That's you. Six of Cups. Nostalgic. So whoever this divine masculine is, they're, they're feeling nostalgic towards you. They're fantasizing, romanticizing, thinking about, even right here, longing. Right? There's this longing for you. Alright, so we got here... Okay, so I have to adjust this. All right, so we got the divine masculine over here. It feels like there's he's this this masculine is longing for intimacy with you. Like and I'm not talking about just the physical intimacy. They're longing for like to connect with you, to bond with you, to laugh with you, to be next to you, to be in your presence. That's what this masculine is actually yearning for. Cancers when it comes to you, they're yearning for their cancer. They're yearning for their that connection that they had or want to have with you. I feel like this person here, they're feeling very nostalgic. Like you're on their mind. Memories is what's coming to mind. If you've shared conversations with them, if you guys have spent time together, they are sitting there thinking about that when it comes to you. And they miss that. I wonder why they're coming in as the, oh, okay, because they're going somewhere with the chariot and then seeing relocation. This is making me feel like a car. This person is going somewhere. They could be relocating. They could be moving. And they may be moving away. And I feel like, I'm going I'm to tell you guys this. This relocation says Archangel Michael. So I feel like this relocation, it says protection. So this may be something that needs to happen, this relocation, and it may be needed for some sort of protection. Rather, it's like divine intervention coming between the two of you because this relocation is right in the middle of the two of you. So maybe this relocation is happening as a result to keep the two of you apart. Because it says prevent it from harm, divine intervention. And you are coming up as a divine feminine with this betrayal. So you could be feeling betrayed by this person. But I'm trying to understand why would they want to protect you from this connection? What's going on in this connection that um, 
could be hindering the two of you from being together? Or why would spirit feel like you and this person should not be together? That's what I'm, why is this relocation necessary is my question. This, and this relocation could also be, um, like, I don't know, because it's giving me a couple of things. Because um, the deck that I grabbed has competition in reverse. And then we got here betrayal. So I don't know if they're trying to, some moving pieces. I'm going to pull, but I'm still trying to work it out. Um, I don't know if like these moving pieces are needed. Because maybe they're trying to stop someone from interfering. Or maybe it's just best that you and this person go your separate ways. I don't know. But uh, I'm going to see. I want to know why it's this relocation. Um, you know protection pretty much why is this relocation spirit why is this relocation protection we got fast movement oh okay so it's like um okay so fast movement okay here's the car i told you going somewhere so it's like it's happening to keep something from moving fast, like fast movement to protect someone, but also to protect something from happening fast. Hmm. Are they trying to stop the two of you from rushing? Uh, I need to know more. We got energy vampire. Someone is sucking up your energy. And then we got here jealous of friends. And then we got here expecting. I'm going to put that right there. Trust is in reverse. So trust has been broken. Now, there can also be a pregnancy. Someone could be expecting or... We got here, not or, but we also got here jealous of friends. I need to know more. Because I, you know what, I'm going to tell you guys. This, this feels a little bit more complicated. Because I don't know, something about this just doesn't seem like up front to me. I don't know how to describe that to you guys. I feel like there's more to this story. And we're just going to have to slowly walk through this to understand what's going on. Because you feel betrayed. Like there's another person here. And then we're seeing this expecting. See, the thing about this is I don't know if this expecting, this pregnancy is connected to this divine masculine. Because I feel like this divine masculine is actually jealous of their friends. And their friends who are expecting. Their friends who are in... You know, because this, this looks like friends that are celebrating, right? And I feel like this divine masculine is like so low right now. Because even when it comes to you feeling low. because And I feel like it's because they feel like, you know, you've moved on. Because remember I told you they want, because actually they wanted to come back. But they feel like you've moved on. Because of whatever it is that you found out. Or whatever you believe you found out. I don't know. But I feel like this is someone who's jealous of their friends who are celebrating. Their friends who are celebrating. Or maybe they have a friend that's uh, welcoming a baby or celebrating a new job. You know, and I feel like this person is, uh, you know, happy about that. I mean, not happy. I feel like, well, they're probably happy for their friend because they're celebrating with them. But they're jealous because they want that for themselves. Because I feel like they've been going through a lot of dark things with this energy vampire. They're in a dark place. And they're having to be around friends who are actually celebrating, who are actually happy. And I feel like this person is relocating. And I feel like this relocation that's coming between the two of you is actually for protection to keep the two of you from moving so fast. There's a need for Because even as I was walking through this reading, it felt like I need to slow down. It's like, no, slow down. We're going to unfold everything. We're going to give you piece by piece. And that's what I feel like is needing to happen between you and this person. You all need to slow down. This is not a race. This connection cannot be raced. That's, that's what I'm giving here with you and this person. Things need to move slow. 
for whatever reason, something here, spirit is saying this connection, you need to slow it down. We want you to go slow. Because even right here with the Knight of Swords, ready to take off. See, somebody is in a rush, ready to take off. Especially when things get hard, ready to take off. When I don't understand something, ready to take off. When I see someone's shadow, their challenge, I'm ready to take off. Spirit says, no, 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 no. This needs to go slow. This needs to unfold. So I feel like how to keep this going, like you may be wondering, well, what's the relocation here? Because I feel like you and this person will still have communication at some point, but there will be distance to have to go slow. That distance will be there to force the two of you to go slow and actually get to know each other. And take your time and be patient with one another. All right, let's see. Um, okay, so I'm see. Yeah, see here we got the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups. So there was something going on here, but I feel like it's memories. When we saw the Six of Cups, I feel like there was. That's why they're jealous, and that's why we see this energy vampire in a dark place. Because I feel like there's something going on when it comes to who they were with in a toxic relationship and was going back and forth with that person. Something was going on, but I feel like we got to find out what that is. Okay, how about that? I'm not going to make any assumptions. I don't know. I just know that there was something going on with them and someone else. And so we got here two queens coming through. The Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands. It could be a um, fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag. But who is this person, right? Let's see. Who is this person in this, in this scenario? It looks like we got regrets. So whoever this person is, they're very confident. I feel like they size you up. I don't know if they know you. I don't know if you guys have met, but it feels like they size you up. It feels like they like to be in control. They get off on having power. But I feel like you, on the other hand, you're not worried. You're not someone that can be easily, you know, like the energy that I'm getting here is like intimidated. Like you can't be, you. this person does not intimidate you or scare you. I want to know what this Queen of Wands is coming in for. We got Aquarius, and that is C, and I'm surprised we got the Queen of Wands with Aquarius. This person likes attention. This Queen of Wands likes attention. And I feel like this Queen of Wands thinks she's the smartest person in the room. Let me see. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. It feels kind of like a stuck-up type of energy. karmic mm, yeah look out of control this is a karmic this is a karmic right and this is someone that's out of control see i told you didn't i tell y'all painful memories from the past that's what i was saying like i feel like this divine masculine is not dealing physically with a third party maybe you thought that i don't know i feel like memories of having experienced this karmic and having on and off again relationships with them. I feel like they did come back in. And I feel like they came back in to see if they still had power over this divine masculine. Tell me about uh, something got out of control though. Something got out of control. I don't know what it was. Maybe this karmic is just, like I said, controlling, out of control. It looks like they had some sort of, I don't what do you call that? Um, I mean, aside from this out of control, like a temper tantrum, I feel like this person threw a fit. Something happened between this karmic and this masculine where things got out of control. And I feel like that's where like you kind of like came in, like or whereas things went sideways with you, because I feel like they were dealing with this person, but not dealing with them. In a romantic way because there's some painful memories there and look see dark energy energy vampire someone that sucks their energy like this queen of wands i feel like does things to them i don't know why blackmail just came in something around blackmail tell me about cancers this queen of cups 
Done. See, done. I told you, yeah, see, you're like, I'm done. Completion, lesson learned. So for you, when it comes to this situation, like we, because you feel betrayed, because look, there's one person here. There's two on the, um, two women in the background. So you're in that energy of feeling betrayed. And because you feel betrayed by this masculine, you're like, I'm done. Lesson learned. I'm not going back. And, and the, this queen of cups is like, you can have them. <laughs> That's the energy that she's giving. She's like, you can have them. I don't want them. Or, or her, I don't want her, whatever the case may be. You're coming in as done. This karmic is coming in very cocky and confident and arrogant and out of control. But these are attached to this masculine's energy. However, this queen of wands, there's still something going on. And I feel like it's, it's, it's something, especially seeing here, you see how this is black and white for the divine masculine. And even over here, I saw this black right here. See, there's something going on here, something dark with them. And she's out of control or he, take it how it resonates. That's what I'm saying. They're doing something out of control to suck this energy out of this divine masculine. Hmm. All right, so look at here. See, they need some sort of help. We got here intervention, rescues, others involved. This person needs some, this masculine need, or yeah, I need some sort of help. And I feel like what's bringing them to their knees right now, because we got here longing for intimacy when it comes to you, is that you are done. This person is really, because we saw their energy came up with exactly the chariot, which is Cancer's card. And I'm longing for you. I'm longing for that connection that I have with you. I want to be next to you. And I, like I said, was triggering them even more to where like the final straw to where this person needs some sort of like help, professional help or intervention is you being done with them. That was like the final thing for them. And realizing that they're missing out on having good things in life because of whatever was going on with as a, as a result of their choices and dealing with this karmic. Because you got to take accountability for your actions over here. Tell me more about cancers being done. Games. We got public humiliation. So you may feel, you may, and then we got here a female relative. All right. So we got here games, public humiliation. What is that about for you? I need to get to the, all right. It says being humiliated on a public platform. Now keep in mind, this is coming in for your energy. So what happened here, cancers? Hmm. Something being made public. Let me see. Who is this person? Tell me about that. I want to know who this female relative is in your life. Rather, this is your female relative or this masculine's female relative. I want to know who this person is. Who is this female relative? Someone that's recovering. Healing. So this is a female. Now, again, this could be someone connected to you or connected to this masculine. There is a female relative that's healing, that's recovering. So they could have been sick. They could have gotten out of the hospital. Something was physically going on with this female relative. Now, what is this? I want to know more about this as it pertains to cancers with this female relative. And I'm going to see how this female relative feel about you. So, oh, the king of swords. They could be, I feel like they're connected to this masculine. The king of swords. This is a masculine energy that's coming in for me. And we got, yes, yeah, see, even right here with the emperor. So, this female relative is recovery and healing. And it's connected to you through this King of Swords. Okay? Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. That's how it's connected to you. Through this masculine energy. Let me see. Tell me more about this masculine energy. They're stuck. 
Okay, they and look, oh, chariot. That's this person over here. The chariot. It came up over here. Stop. So they feel like here with whoever they're dealing with that's a female relative, they feel stuck. The two of swords. They feel like they're at an impasse. So, and this because this person, this female relative is ill or recovering from something. This could be someone that maybe just gave birth. Um, maybe they just went through surgery. Maybe they had some sort of uh, addiction. I don't know. But um, they're actually, it looks like trying to help that person. How does this person feel about you? How does this, let me, how does this female relative, if they know about you, for those where they do know, right? Let's see. If they know about you, how do they feel? Tarot reader. Oh, they feel like you're a tarot reader. They feel like you're a tarot reader, you're psychic, you're intuitive. Even if they don't use the word tarot reader, they feel like you're psychic. And I feel like the reason why this female relative feels this way is because this King of Swords told them about you. This King of Swords has a mouth, okay? And I'm not saying that in a bad or good way. They're talkative. The King of Swords is the air, communication here, right? So this person has actually been talking to their female relative about you. As this person has been recovering and they've been there to help them because the King of Swords is very chivalrous. The King of Swords is like, um, they could be, King of Swords can also be doctors, nurses, you know, things of that nature. But this is someone that's like helpful, a very helpful, a gentleman or, um, you know, caretaker energy is what I'm getting here as well. So I feel like as they've been around this person, they've been talking about you to this male, this female relative who sees you as someone that is a tarot reader or someone that's psychic, someone that's intuitive, someone that has some sort of gift. Like they see you in that spiritual sense. Maybe this King of Swords said, I have a spiritual connection with you. And so they've been talking to this female relative about you. And how they feel stuck. Because the two of cups is in reverse. I feel stuck in fixing this. I don't know what to do. Because they feel like you're done with them. Alright. So we got here this masquerade coming in. And then we got here public humiliation. There's some sort of sneaky energy around you cancers. I don't know. It's it's a dark energy. And I feel like it's coming. It could be coming from this Queen of Wands playing games. It says here masquerades games. There's something being done in the shadows. Because I talked about shadow. Shadow. And it was connected to this Queen of Wands. So I don't know. I feel like here. There's something here. Where this Queen of Wands could be trying to publicly humiliate you and or this person. They're doing something covert. They're doing something in the dark. What is that, right? Let's see. What are they doing? Or whoever it is. What's the because we don't know for sure. Because they're hiding. All right. But it's coming up under your energy. So they're doing something geared towards you. And they're, they're trying to cause you to um, feel depressed. They're doing something to try to make you have anxiety, be paranoid. How how are they doing that? Whatever it is, they're trying. They're doing something around that energy cancers towards you. I don't know how they're doing that though. Let me get another deck I want to use to see. All right. All right, let's see. What are they doing to cause? Because they're trying to lower your vibration. They're trying to make you feel anxious. And remember, we saw fast movement also. And the spirit is saying this needs to move slow. But I feel like something is being done, secretly being done, to make you feel low about this connection. To make you be quick to be done when it comes to this person. Like low patience, low tolerance. And just look down low on this connection. Yeah, look at here, evil eye. I'm going to shuffle so you guys don't think that I did that, right? I'm going to shuffle evil eye. But that was the first card that flipped over. So I'm shuffling. Codependency. See? A codependent relationship. All right, let's see. Tell me about what's being done in the dark. Guard it. Look at that. Oh, I, I look, somebody got a new job. That's probably where the, and then this says guarded. 
this karmic is dangerous because I can't show you what my hand is covering up something. This person has some a weapon in their hand. It says very guarded and protective over her. There, this karmic is dangerous. That's why spirit is saying this relocation because look, public, they will do something in public. This is a karmic that would see out of control. This karmic is out of control. Look, even right here, there's a police car right there. And look, someone feels like they need protection. That's why we got here relocation and protection. Now, keep in mind, this could be happening at like maybe this already happened and this person relocated and they're dealing with the memories of that experience. And this person triggered it because they tried to come back into their life and that caused interference between the two of you. So keep that in mind because some of you are at different time so not time zones, but you know, it's a different time frames. Some of you, this is present. Some of you, this is past and it's unfolding. Um, you know, take it how it resonates. Okay. But yeah, this person has a new job and see leveling up and look, study a new line. That's why they are talking to this relative about you because they started studying researching the occult things. That's why, because they, I told you, they told that relative about how they feel connected to you spiritually. So they started researching. Why do I feel this way? Why do I feel this way about you? Why am I longing? Like I just feel lost. This chariot, this person just feels lost without you, without this connection to you. That's how they're feeling. They're like, I feel lost. Okay, like I was saying, yeah, they got a new job. You're hired, you got the job. They got this job, right? They leveled up. You are leveling up. So they started to, to level up or they're going to start to level up. And this relocation is also good to get them away from this person who's out of control. But when they met you or knowing you, connecting with you, it's like, wow. And even it even says here, the little book of spells. See this, that's what I'm saying. Like this karmic could have been doing things and they, and seeing how they were in darkness, they could have been reading about that. They started to learn. There's two books here. So one about the spells, that dark energy from the karmic and the other book is about the connection with you. They started to look into that and they're talking to a relative that is recovering, that's healing. Some sort of relative that's around them that they go and have a conversation with because they're saying I'm at the impasse. This king of swords is trying to understand, trying to get some sort of knowledge because they don't know what to do. They feel stuck. And so they're talking to a female relative and this female relative for some of you, this female relative could be a psychic as well. And that's probably why they, they're going to them. All right. So yeah, this karmic seems to be a doozy. I am going to stop there because I'm going to do an extended reading. I want to look at, um, I want to do an extended. I want to get more information for you, uh, for those that are interested. I want to look at the situation at present, like what is going on with them and that karmic situation. I'm also going to look at the conversation that they were having with this uh, female relative over here that's been recovering. I'm going to look into that energy to see what they both were saying about you and this connection, what they were talking about. I'm going to look at how this divine masculine views you and their feelings for you and what's going to happen and the advice that spirit has for you and this connection. All right. So if you want more insight, come on over to the extended. I will catch you guys over there. Bye.